Hello again, we're back with challenge three. We made it to challenge three of OPI's Next Up Nail Artist All-Stars. So this challenge is called Color is the Answer, and it made me think, what is color? Um, color is just the reflection of light. So the more I thought about it, the more I was like, what could be more colorful than a bunch of reflections like in a kaleidoscope? So this set is based on kaleidoscopes, kind of just the shapes and the colors that you would see in a kaleidoscope and, and a similar pattern. And I really wanted to give it some dimension, so I added a bunch of clear in the middle so that way you can see kind of a shadow on the top, um, on the bottom layer from the top layer. So you can kind of like see into the nail, which is really cool. Also for this challenge, we have to use as many OPI colors as possible in our design. Spoiler alert, I used everything they gave me. <laughs> but I'm super excited about this look, so I hope you enjoy. So to start this look, I'm gonna extend my nails with OPI's acrylic, but because they rock climb, I can't wear these for more than a couple hours. So I'm gonna put on two layers of foil glue. So foil glue is double-sided sticky glue that works really well for nail foils. Um, Elmer's glue would work for this too, but I'm just gonna put two coats of this on and wait for it to dry. And this is gonna create a barrier so I can just pop the acrylic nail off after I sculpt it. Once the glue is completely translucent, you know it's dry, and we can go ahead and sculpt our nail. Once it's dry, I removed the form and shaped it up. And then to pop the nail off with the glue, I just ran my finger under warm water for like 15 seconds, and then the nail just pops right off. And because the glue is stuck to the nail, I could literally just pop this right back on and it stays on. After making sure everything is nice and smooth and shaped the way we want it to, I'm going to paint a very, very thin layer of alpine snow. After curing my layer of alpine snow, I'm gonna go in and start painting my design. So what I like to do is draw the outline of the shape that I'm doing with a striper brush. And then I fill in the design with a long detailer because it's a little bit thicker and you're able to float the color in much easier and quicker. So here I'm using Viva OPI. Next up is Mural Mural on the wall. Next up is Don't Tell a Soul. And then Susie's Slingin' Mezcal. This is Telenovela Me About It. I love this color. It builds up to a really vibrant pink, but if you do a thin layer, it's a nice pastel. And this is Mariachi Makes My Day. Verde, nice to meet you. Mi casa is blue casa. And then last on this first layer, we have Mexico City Movement. Then I wanted to outline everything so it all pops really nicely. And just a little trick here, if you want to get really consistent thin lines, you want to load your brush properly. So I'm going into my black onyx and I'm moving the brush around until I see every bristle open up and move freely. And then when I'm lining here, I'm literally just using the tip of the brush. So I'm making sure to keep my pressure consistent. So before we paint our second layer of our design, I really wanted there to be some depth in this. So I'm gonna build the apex of the nail now. And I'm just gonna do this really quickly with OPI's top coat. So I'm just gonna paint the whole nail a nice even layer of top coat. And before I cure it, I'm gonna drop a bead of top coat down the center and let it level out a bit. And then I'm gonna cure this. And then I just repeated this two more times to make sure I built it up to the height that I felt was necessary to get the depth that I wanted. And now for the second layer design, I'm starting with Hugh is the artist. This is Coraling your spirit animal. Corraling your spirit animal. <laughs> then we have my Chihuahua doesn't bite anymore which is actually my favorite color of all of these. It's so vibrant and so pretty. And then the only other color that I didn't have in gel that OPI gave me in Powder Perfection is Linkin Park After Dark. And I really wanted to use it, so I mixed it with some top coat. And I did add a little bit of Alpine Snow to it, so it's a little bit more opaque. And then I used this to paint the last part of my design. Then I went back in with Black Onyx and lined every little bit of the design and just finish with some top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video diary of how I created this look. Um, thank you to OPI and Nails Magazine for this amazing competition. 
I'll leave a link below to vote and hopefully I will see you next week.